Hi, beautiful. Today, you're gonna learn all about what face shape you have and what haircut would look best for your face shape. And I'm gonna say face shape probably three, 100,000 times. So if you wanna count, be my guest. I made this video two years ago now, which is crazy to me because I feel like I just did this, but apparently I didn't. So you're gonna get a new and improved, updated, how to pick the haircut for your face shape video. And it is very much new and very much improved since the last version. I'm gonna simplify it a lot more for you today. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to make yourself look more attractive to the human eye through a haircut that fits your personal face shape. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, let's keep the energy up for this one. It can be kind of boring sometimes learning about face shapes. It's like a lot of stuff. It's like a lot of information. I'm just gonna like Ooh! throw at you. There are six different face shapes that you could fit into, unless you don't. And then I'm so sorry, but this video might fail you. Let's go through each face shape one at a time. That way I don't confuse you and like give you so much information at once and it just goes in through one ear, out the other, you know? We're gonna really break it down, make it easy, digestible, fun. Firstly, I want you to grab a mirror or go stand in a mirror as I go through the face shapes right now. And I want you to identify what you have. And before I explain the face shapes, you might already think you have a certain shape shape, but it might not be correct. So I'm gonna help you decide while you look in the mirror what face shape you have. So up first we have the diamond. With this wonderful face shape you'll get for just $19.95, you will have a sharp jawline that is usually pretty pointed. And then you'll have your cheekbones that are very pronounced, very out there, very angular. And then your forehead will be a little bit on the smaller side, width wise. So it's smaller up here, wider your cheekbones, and smaller down here, which makes that very angular diamond face shape. That one's easy. Now we'll move on to the round face. Round is round. <laughs> Was that so hard? Usually somebody with a round face has, well, a very full rounded face. Everything is very smoothed out and circular. There's no protruding cheekbones. There's no protruding jaw lines. Everything is very circular and round, hence why it's called round. And that one you'll get for $5.99. The square, that's a square. You learned to draw this shape in like, I don't know, kindergarten. So hopefully you know what that is. Uh, a square, well, you're like, how the f does somebody have a square on their face? They don't. It's more of a figurative meaning of the shape. So somebody with a square face has the same height this way as with this way. Now, it doesn't need to be perfect. Humans are not perfect. So it's very unlikely that you have a perfectly symmetrical square face, but you get the idea of it, okay? Also, your jaw is usually very pronounced, very squared off this way, your forehead very squared off, very angular this way, and everything kind of matches up to form a sort of square. And now we'll move on to the oblong, which is similar to a couple of the other ones we just went over. This is a mix between an oval and a square, also known as a rectangle. Usually the face is on the longer side, so the height here is usually two times the length of the forehead across. You typically have more fullness going down throughout this cheek area, and it's not all concentrated right here. And the chin is a bit more widened and less angular. The heart, which happens to be the one I have. This is a heart-shaped face, okay? If I lift up my hair, it would be like, it's a heart. That's because I love you. I hope when you see my face, you just think, oh, Brad loves me. So on a heart-shaped face, the forehead is wider than the jaw. The jaw comes to a slight point right here. We got slightly widened cheekbones and we get a very nice and wide forehead that comes to a peak that gives us the heart. And lastly, we have the most optimal face shape for a woman, which is an oval. Do you have an oval face? Let's find out. We're not getting a lot of harsh lines from the jaw. So everything is very proportionate. The forehead, the cheeks, the jaw, everything's about the same width around. This length is a tiny bit longer than the width this way. Everything is very soft. You may have that very feminine hairline that is, you know, Round it out. Your jaw comes to a slight point, but it's more on the rounded side than pointed. Hopefully, maybe you've identified your face shape. And if you haven't, that's okay. I'm gonna help you understand just 
a little bit more. Let's play a game. We're gonna play a game where you decide what face shape this celebrity has. I'm gonna give you three options, you choose, which is best. And the game starts now and your life is on the line. You could win a million dollars, but maybe it won't be real money. And the timer starts now. You have three seconds to answer my question. First up, we have J-Lo. Known for her hit song, Jenny from the Block. What face shape does J-Lo have? Here are your three options. We have diamond, we have oval, we have square. All right, I'll give you a second. Really analyze that face. Look at the angles, look at the width, look at the height, look at everything going on. Draw a little shape around her face with your finger. What do you see? If you chose diamond, well, that's the correct answer. Congratulations. And if you didn't win, try harder next time. You can see that her chin goes into a point, her cheekbones come out, and her forehead goes into a slight point. Up next, we have Jessica Alba. Is she a heart shape? Is she a diamond? Or is she round? I'll give you point two seconds. Okay, do you have your answer? Great. If you chose heart shape, you'd be correct. <laughs> now with Jessica, you can see that her hairline comes down into a point, also known as a widow's peak, okay? Heart shape faces typically have this. Then her cheekbones don't come too far out, her forehead's definitely wide, and her chin comes to a point, giving you the heart effect. And next, Miranda Kerr, supermodel extraordinaire, beautiful, oof, glamazon, honey bunny, ha tea. Does she have a square face or does she have a oblong face or does she have a round face? <laughs> Draw a line with your eyes, figure it out for me and let me know what you come back with. If you said round, you're correct and you're hired. I want you, I need you because you're smart. Yes, she's a round face and this goes to show you round is beautiful guys and just because you might have a round face doesn't mean you look bad I've had so many friends in my past be like oh my god my face is so round like I'm so ugly like no girl you're hot as you can see she has no harsh lines going on there's no sharp jaw there's no sharp cheekbones everything's very soft and a bit more on the wider side than say an oval and she's looking fabulous now we have Miss Angelina Jolina Angelina Jolina take your choice man take your choice is it oblong is she a heart or is she square really look there look at the angles man look what's going on all right on angelina's face if you said square <clears throat> well congratulations you've officially won a hundred billion dollars i feel like this one is quite simple it literally looks like a square she's very angular but not long like an oblong so she must be a square and our next contestant on what face shape do you have anyways we have somebody who's known for her hit series sex in the city sarah jessica Parker. Hi, Sarah. Does Sarah have a square, a diamond, or an oblong face? This one you should get. All right, time's up. If you said oblong, you'd be correct. You can tell her face is a little bit more on the longer side. Shorter here, longer here. Not too many harsh angles going on, a little more rounded out. Not super sharp, but mostly you want to just look at the height versus the width. And that's where you see the oblongness going on. Oops, snip slip. <sighs> and next up, we have a woman who is known as a queen to most. Just a goddess in general, this woman is. We have Beyonce. You may know her from a few of her, a few of her hits, such as Halo and Crazy in Love. Does Beyonce, the goddess of them all, have a oval face, round face, or does she have a heart-shaped face? You better get this one. You better get this one. We're on the last one. You know this. You can do it. She has a oval. She has the most optimal face shape, which is an oval, of course, because she's Beyonce. And, you know, apparently people can be perfect. Her jaw's on the softer side. Her forehead's not wide. Her height is slightly longer than her width, but nothing drastic. Everything is rounded out, but not wide like a round face. So she's an oval. Wow, you did a great job on that. Congratulations. You should be proud of yourself. Now, 
It's time to go over what haircut you should get to complement your face shape. The oval is the ideal face shape for a woman. I think I went over that before. Everything we're trying to do here is to make your face look more oval. So we'll first go over an oval face. What should you do for your haircut? You can really do anything because you already have the most optimal face shape for a female, according to society and studies that have been done. I actually like to complement the oval face shape with a more blunt haircut. Maybe we don't do layering. Maybe we keep it very short to the chin and have it very edgy looking. Because your face can really handle any kind of look, why not have fun with it and go more edgy style? Maybe add a tiny bit of angularity to your face with your haircut while doing a blunt, shorter haircut. Or you could even keep it longer down here and do a very blunt. That totally looks awesome too. Also play around with bangs. If you guys wanna learn more about bangs and what face shape complements which bangs, you can head to that video, it'll be linked below. Now let's go over round. You're gonna really wanna stay away from bobs. I already know there's people watching me who have a bob and they have a round face and they're like, F I need extensions. No, listen, do you. I wanna make it known that you guys can be whoever you want and do whatever you want. This is just for those of you who are kind of lost. What do I do with my haircut? You want the most optimal result for your face shape? I'm here for you. Otherwise, do you, do whatever you want. I don't care, have fun with it. It's your own self-identity do whatever you want with it. Stay away from stuff that lands right about here if you have a round face, okay? And definitely stay away from blown out hair looks because that will just add to the roundness and actually make your face look, well, fat. Even though I don't think round faces are fat, it will make your face look fat if you have all this width on the side. Maybe stay away from the very voluminous blown out hair if you have a round face. I think that longer haircuts with more wispy layering looks great with rounder faces. Wispy layering around the face is going to give you that cheekbone that you might not have. So it's gonna give you a little more chiseledness, add to the jawline, and just give you more shape. So you can cut it here, you can cut it here, anywhere around here just not here, not there. Also having your hair a bit longer will trick the eye and drag your eye down to make your face appear that it's a bit longer than wider. It'll add a little bit more length and make you have that more oval face shape. You can also make your hair look a little more layered and textured by waving your hair or curling it. That'll help eat into the roundness of your face instead of cutting it. Let's go over square again. Square faces do very well with bangs, okay? Especially a rounded out bang. You're gonna really want to round out those features, round out that forehead, round out everything, and add a little bit of length. Cause square faces are typically on the shorter side and the more structural side. We don't really want our haircuts to sit out our jaw with a square face. We wanna add at least a little bit of length right here, right here, right here. Any sort of length underneath the chin is probably good for you. You. Soften up those hard angles with some layering around your face. Try not to put your hair behind your ear too much. That'll help soften up all your features and make you appear more oval. And if you have a square face and you just wanna style your hair differently, you can also do a nice blowout and keep your face more rounded that way because you're adding more volume and width this way with a nice blowout. Oblong, the goal here is to bring some beautiful volume to the center of the face. Opt for a haircut that's gonna have layering land at the cheekbone or around there. That way when you do a blow dry or you do any kind of look, the width is more exaggerated around the cheekbones to give you a more rounded out look instead of a longer look. Shorter haircuts are great for people with an oblong face. That way you're not adding any more length to your face. You can cut it here, you can cut it here, you can cut it here. Just I wouldn't do too, too long or your face is gonna look longer and more exaggerated. A bang is also a great way to shorten an oblong face. You can do a baby bang, you can do a longer bang. Bangs at the eyebrows are probably best in this situation, but any bang will do. Who doesn't love a bang? And similar to the square face, we wanna keep the blowout very rounded around here, exaggerate flowy and fun. With a heart-shaped face, we are trying to decrease the width of the forehead and add more width to the jaw. So a shorter haircut would be great for this and have it nice and rounded towards the chin, even like a nice blowout to round it out right here. And then a side swept bang would be best to break up that wider forehead. And layering is not as important here. You don't have to do a lot of layering. You can keep it pretty one length or just a little bit of soft layering at the bottom where our goal is to exaggerate this part down here and decrease the width up here. I love to style heart-shaped faces with a nice beach wave, even going forward instead of backwards away from the face. So towards the face would be best because you wanna break into that forehead width and then maybe keep it off of your jaw. Maybe widen it up, keep it behind your ears, show off that jawline. That way your forehead 
forehead is decreased, your jawline is widened, and you're looking perfect. And lastly, the diamond face. It's becoming a lot more desirable by women. A lot of people are getting a lot of injections right here and right here to really make that face very structural and very exaggerated. So if you're into that, do whatever you want with your haircut. But if you would like to make your face look more oval and you have a diamond face, any length is fine here because we're not trying to increase length or decrease length. So here, 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 and here is fine. So with a diamond, we're trying to increase width here and here and decrease here. We're gonna keep everything pretty open. You can tuck your hair behind your ears. A haircut that sits about at the chin is going to be amazing for this face shape. A nice rounded out blow dry that ends right here is gonna add some roundness to that jawline. We wanna keep it very open. That way the forehead looks a bit wider than it really is. I prefer straight hair with a diamond face. A straightened or blown out hair look will soften up the angularity of your face and make it a little more oval looking. And with all that knowledge out there, for you, I hope you figured out what the hell you should do with your haircut. And if you did find out what you should do, maybe you should follow my haircut tutorial too. And then, I mean, and then just like complete the whole process. You learned your face shape, you figured out what you need to do, and you cut your hair. And hopefully hair salons will be open back up in no time. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on just about everything. I have a show on Snapchat, you can see. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, at BradMondoNYC. You can also check out my hair care brand, X Mondo Hair, where we release beautiful, amazing, fabulous hair products that'll make you feel and look beautiful, fabulous, and amazing. My website is linked below and also you can head to Xmondo Hair on Instagram to check out the latest and the greatest of what we're doing at Xmondo. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. This is Force Field Heat Shield. Girl, you better protect that hair from heat damage. Heat styling tools go up to a very high temperature and oftentimes people abuse their heat styling tools. Heat protectant is gonna layer your hair with a protective film in order for your hair not to become fried and damaged.